next one is assigning the footprint. So to assign the footprint, we have to first go to pad editor. So go to start here, go to pad, pad stack editor, click on the pad stack editor. So now first go to file and then go to new options. So here we have to choose uh, the directory first. So I'm going to browse first. So from my computer, go to desktop here. Inside the desktop, we got the test project. Inside the test project, I'm going to create a new folder called footprints. I will choose that particular folder inside the folder. I'm going to create it. header. So header, you can see this is a 2.54 one mm drill. So that is one mm drill and a two mm pad dot pad it should be pad stack so you can see header 1 mm of drill and 2 mm of pad and the pad stack should be through hole pin so i'll select the through hole pin and then click ok so once you click ok you can observe here there is a header dot header underscore 1 mm the header uh, the name of the pad stack editor header uh, one one mm drill and two mm pad and the location is desktop test and then under the four point folder so now we have to select the through pin just go to drill options first in the start we have just selected the through pin option we have got a smd wire bb wires micro wire slots everything so select the through pin type is circular the diameter finished diameter is some I would say 1 mm of dia and the whole plating it should be plated hold and the number of drills are not required design layers for directly in the design layers this we have to update here the regular pad so in the design go to regular pad here the geometry should be circular so once you create the circle as the shape symbol, shape symbol is for customized symbols. So we are going to add the diameter of the pad that is 2 mm. So you can see the total blue color, you can see that is a 2 mm of pad. Inside that we have put 1 mm of a drill, which is in a red color. So offset is not required when you have your you offset like if I use 0.1 mm, so drill will be shifted to 0.1 mm towards X axis. So that is not required here, we'll make offset 0. So this now we got a 1 mm drill and 2 mm pad. So we have to copy this thing. So if you want the thermal pad, we can add the thermal pad for thermal pad. Uh, for 10 to 15 mils, we will add extra thermal pad with respect to uh, the drill pad. So it's a 2 mm, so 10 to 15 mils. If you say 2.254 uh, mm, 2.254 mm, 10 mm, I'm going to add thermal relief. Anti pad also we will keep the same, make it circular. And the diameter of the anti pad should be 2.254 mm. In a layer circle, we make it so we make it 2 mm. Thermal pad will make it circular and then make it uh, 2.3. Anti pad also will make it 2.3. The same things to the end layer also you can see here this is now internal now we are going to the bottom layer it is 2 mm all three layers uh, details here many mask layers if you want to uh, go to the mask layer and have a bit the solder mask is required for us the solder mask top as well as bottom it should be more than the drill so five uh, to ten mils you can add maximum ten mils solder mask that is 2.254 select the solder mask click circular so it was 2.254 we'll add 2.254 mm that is approximately 3 mm so solder mask bottom also we will update because it is a through hole component so 2.254 mm face mask is not required as it is a through hole component it's all uh, these are the important 
informations which is required we have updated it suppress the unconnected internal pads not required uh, lock the layers but not required it is a summary here you can uh, recollect all the details whether it is correct or not uh, just if it is a correct click on the save option so here you click on the save 